Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a uh, pork roast today, and uh, I'm going to be putting it in this Dutch oven with this lid on it and put it outside under the coals. I know it's not the outdoors type, but it'll work just fine the same way. I've got a uh, sauce that I put together here for the uh, to cover it with to give it some moisture. And it'll kind of break it down and make it tender because I'm going to use it for pulled pork. It's a quarter cup apple cider vinegar, a quarter cup barbecue sauce, quarter cup water, some pepper, and about a tablespoon of honey Dijon mustard. Anyway, it should turn out good and we'll come back with you and show you how it's going. All right, I got the charcoal started here on my chimney. I got about 15, 20 coals in there. I'm gonna do it here on this outdoor fire pit because I've got this grate in here that I can put the coals under, put my pan on top of it, and then stack some coals on top of it. And it should do okay, but I'll uh, come back and show you when we get started. I also went to Harbor Freight today and picked up a few things got this little 13-piece uh, hobby knife, precision knife, whatever. Little, we used to call them X-Acto knives. But uh, that was two bucks for that whole set. And then I picked me up some some gloves. I think they were seven bucks. But then went to a little army surplus store and I got me a don't tread on me flag. I thought about hanging it right up here above my desk. Anyway, thought I'd show you that. Went with the daughter this morning and uh, did some shopping. She got her some combat boots. She's been wanting some combat boots for a long time. So that's where we got this. Was at the uh, surplus store along with her boots. Anyway, guys, we'll get back to cooking. All right, here it is. Got her all laid in there with the sauce over the top of it. I'll get this lid put on. And uh, when the coals get ready, I'll take it out there and get her set up. All right, so got my coals all ready. They're pretty close anyway. I'm going to get them spread out here and get the bottom set on it. I don't know if you'll be able to see. I don't have my tripod out here. warm. Mm. 
Okay, I've got three, six, eight on top. About 10 or 12 on bottom. I may have to move some of them out. There may be too many there. I'll check it here in a little bit. But uh, I'll just come out here and I'll grab the handle and turn it a quarter a turn every 30 minutes and then turn the base of it the other way and just try to keep it all from uh, getting any hot spots on it. Anyway, guys, we'll get back with you here in a little while. Alright, so it's been an hour and a half. I'm going to take the lid off and take a look at it. I don't know, it don't need much though. I'm going to let it finish off a little while though. Get that lid back on there. Alright, so we're all done. I just wanted to show you this. Mm, that's hot. But look at that. Fork tender. Just almost three hours. Yes. Yeah. 